shown as a rat head strap. You can see a horizontal bar for holding the front incisors. On the inside of the head strap are small circular cushions to minimize discomfort. This is the front end of the quad transmit receive coil showing the cable connections and color coded ports for tuning rods. Shown is the back of the coil where you insert the head strap. The piece hanging from inside the coil is the nose bar measured perfectly to fit the bridge of the animal's nose when the head strap is locked in place. The coil is attached to the body tube with two small screws. The position along the body tube can be adjusted as you'll see with the animal setup. The body tube is placed into the chassis. The white pegs are shoulder bars positioned through holes in the body tube. The black screw beneath, between the shoulder bars is used to adjust the depth of the shoulder plate. The body tube is locked into the back end of the chassis with two screws. The coil is locked into the front of the chassis with a single screw. The RF shield comes in two pieces. Each piece comes with a sleeve that fits onto the rails of the chassis. When positioned on the chassis, the two pieces slide together and can move along the chassis. It is important to remember that the coil is tuned and matched during manufacturing with the shield in place. So always rem remember to include the shield when tuning and matching the coil in the magnet. Shown as a 400 gram Sprague Dolly rat. Moments before, it was anesthetized with 3 to 4 percent isofluorine. The setup takes only 1 to 2 minutes and should not require additional anesthesia. The rat's top incisors are positioned on over the tooth bar in the head strap. The head strap is pushed down over the head, falling into position. The lower teeth must be pulled forward, free of the tooth bar, pinching the skin on the chin, pull down to free the lower teeth. Insert the head strap into the coil. It will come to a stop precisely at the level of the side locking screws. Lock into a place. Adjust the symmetry of the head by gently rolling the body of the rat. Drop the nose bar and lock into place. Lidocaine, be, lidocaine can be placed on the bridge of the nose to minimize any discomfort at this pressure point. Drop the animal into the body tube, tucking the forearms underneath. You may choose to tape the forepaws to discourage any effort to escape. If so, remember to do this during acclimation. Drop in the right shoulder bar. Position the shoulder plate side groove into the right shoulder bar. Drop in the left shoulder bar securing the shoulder plate. You can adjust the height of the shoulder plate with the center screw. Turn over the body tube, adjust the coil. Gently pull the coil away from the shoulder bars, slightly extending the neck of the rat. This further discourages movement of the animal. You can adjust the pressure on the, 
the head straps with the side screws. Be very attentive to the animal's respiration as too much pressure can erect